Gonna be it, it, so. This is gonna be a different uh, movie night uh, in that there's no movie and there's just me. So, <laughs> hi. Um, I'll welcome in everybody in just a minute. Uh, Steve, Steve was not feeling too good, so uh, he decided uh, to take the night off to try to get better for uh, for work. So, uh, all good. I had a headache. I woke up with a migraine this morning. And so, um, I wasn't really sure I could handle a movie tonight, but, um, I'm still here. So we're going to chill out a little while. Uh, so I'm going to welcome in everybody. Welcome in. And I can wave as long as I want to. It's a promise. Welcome in Kenneth H, Nicole, Happy Haunts, Tigger, Jeff, Sean W., uh, Dear Debbie Bernfeld, Stacy Rogers, Jan S. Disney, Simba 2. And I may say some names twice just because I feel like it. Bonus. Uh, Dear Debbie Bernfeld, hello. Uh, let's see, twice already. Welcome in. Samantha Lowe, howdy. Good to see you. Aria, good evening. Welcome. Um, let's see. Jonathan Chong, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, Mari Memphis, hey, Mar. Good, good evening. Um, I did say Jonathan Chong. I'll say it again. Jonathan Chong. Howdy. Uh, let's see. Debbie Thuner. Good evening. I be Rebecca. Hello. Hello. Good to see you both. Um, uh, it's, it's scrolling funny. 
Uh, Christine Hickman, welcome in. Good to see you. Crafty Disney mom, Samantha, hello. Uh, Jay Nashville, good evening. Uh, good evening. Hope everybody's had a good Sunday. Move Mania, Nick, welcome in. Hey, Nick. Birdwell2427, hello, Sandy. Good to see you. Uh, Jeff Condon, what's up, sir? Good evening. Uh, let's see. Jeep and Joy, hello, neighbor. Good to see you. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, and there she is, the lovely, the beautiful, the ever so talented. Um, my sweet snickerdoodle, the daisy duck to my Donald duck, the Perdita to my Pongo, the April lug gate to my Andy Dwyer. And the, uh, to finish out the trifecta the, or the, or the, the, anyway, the, uh, Leslie note to my Ben Wyatt. There you go. All parks and rec. So hello. Good to see you, sweet. Uh, Angela Minter. Good evening. Uh, Amory Dryers well, here. Welcome in, Amory. Good to see you. Uh, Murph. What's up, Murph? Good evening. KK. Hello. Good Good to see you. Uh, we got Nick. Regina Airy. Hello. Pino Pete. Howdy. Um, Stephen K. Good to see you, sir. Uh, I said Regina, but hello again, Regina. Uh, let's see. Murph. Debbie. Uh, Jennifer Crusoe, you did a great job, Jennifer, and thank you for the shout out, dear, uh, and congratulations. If, if someone could do me a favor, actually, I may still have it. Let me see if I still have it. Uh, no, I don't. If somebody could do me a favor and post uh, Jennifer's link for the Give Kids the World um, that she's doing, she's going to run do the run Disney uh, to raise funds for Give Kids the World. Um, she was talking about that a little bit on the, uh, triple C show over on Pete's channel. Thank you, Kenneth H. There you go. Um, yeah, good, good calls and, uh, good luck with the run, Jennifer Crusoe. I hope to do that one day. I've, I've always wanted to do, I'm going to stop waving a minute. I've always wanted to do a run Disney ever since Meg talked about them, uh, and everything. And I got all hooked into it. I would love to do one of those one day. So that's, that's one of my goals at some point. So anyway, there you go. Uh, yeah. Thank you. There's, there's Jennifer Crusoe's give to give the world fundraiser. Um, let's see. Where was I in chat? K will be welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, Nathan. Good evening. Howdy. Uh, main street, Nick. What's up, Nick? Good to see you. Uh, and, and we got Angela and we got Jan S. Hello, Jan. I said, hey, Jan. Hey, Jan. Um, Marguerite Nagy, welcome in. Good to see you. I uh, got Kay Wilby. I'm just waving because I like to. Right, guy. What's up, brother? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, let's see. Did I get to the bottom? Am I at the bottom already? Wow. It goes fast when I'm taking my time. Not sure how that works, but it did. There you go. Welcome in, everybody. Um, so I I got some stuff to talk about, and um, uh, we may do a little shopping. Uh, there was some I found some merch that that interests me. Um, we can trim Chris. Well, thank you, Crystal K. I appreciate that. Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all smiles. Welcome in. Howdy. Usually ninja, but thought I'd jump in. Well, thank you. Thank you for jumping in and good to see you. And, and thank you for being a ninja. All of the ninjas. I get messages from some of them. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, and, and the kind messages y'all send me sometimes that it, it means a lot. I really do appreciate that. So, uh, yeah. Welcome in all smiles. Thanks for joining the chat. Uh, Kate Udalali Lane. Hello, hello. Good evening. Um, I, I, uh, it's been a weekend of trying things for me. Uh, so, uh, I cooked, uh, I cooked something else today or, or tried something else today. Uh, a, a few, a week or two ago, I talked about trying to find, uh, baked nacho chips, tortilla chips, whatever you want to call them. And I couldn't find them anywhere. 
uh we do appreciate all our ninjas i'm in ninja mode half the time i said yeah, me too sometimes actually anyway uh this noah hello noah good to see you. uh so i i had looked at the grocery store for baked chips because i can have them starting today and uh couldn't find them no brands even the fancy ones even the organic ones none of them said baked nobody's baking nobody is baking no nachos apparently uh costco has a good variety of box good variety box of baked chips yeah but i was wanting specifically like uh, tortillas nacho chips hard to find those anyway so i made my own today and they turned out really well really good um I uh, I I bought a pack of um, round corn tortillas, and um, you brush olive oil on the front and back of one, and then just brush it on one side and just kind of stack them. You can stack about I, I could stack about four, five, uh, and then you just cut them in half and cut them in little triangles. Uh, lay them on a single. Um, baking sheet just single layer baking sheet i put them in uh we have a little um air fryer oven and i put them in there at uh 325 for uh i think about 15 minutes perfect uh sprinkle a little salt uh on there they work great when all else fails make it yourself exactly snickerdoodle yes so how did you make them chris i've had them before, but not so good. These these turned out really well. Now I did see one person post a recipe of mixing the olive oil, like with uh, squeezing some lemon juice, from uh, fresh lemon, and with their olive oil to mix it up. Um, but I didn't do that. I just did straight olive oil brushing on it, and uh, it, it they came out really well. They look some of them look kind of dark, but they don't taste burnt. So I think it's just because of the corn tortillas that I used. But they got good crisp. I actually used salt substitute instead of regular salt. And they're great. Um, I had the girl child come in who is a, a connoisseur when it comes to nachos. And um, she loved them. Thought they were really good. So, um I'll try it in the air front. Not sorry to eat in front of y'all, but just show you how crunchy they are. Um, yes, I did it in an air fryer. So we have um, this little French door air frying convection oven thing, and I put them in there. I put them on like a wire rack, and um, three twenty-five about fifteen minutes worked great. So yeah, there you go. Um, and, um, I'm looking forward to that. That might be my supper snack tonight after the stream that, and a little bit of salsa because salsa, I can have very mild salsa and, um, cook builds, you know, um, so I'm looking forward to trying that with some salsa because I've missed salsa in my life. I love nachos and salsa. I used to make meals out of that. Um, let's see. It's not a round air fryer, but an air fry oven. Yeah. Well, the one we've got is like a little, it's got French doors. It's like a little oven countertop thing, air frying. Yeah. Um, or dad cooks yeah that too that would work as well uh i'm a chip and salsa girl so anytime when i get to eat healthy i'm for it yeah i used to make meals out of chips and salsa just sit there and just go at it um but these yeah these are these are good these worked out well for me so i saw somebody else that said that, that they use leftover tortilla like the flour tortillas for it. I didn't, I, I, 
I like the corn, corn chips. That's what, anyway. Yeah. Vicki Gillespie, welcome in. Good to see you. Um, so that's, that's, uh, that was my project today. I can make chips and salsa meal too. I, honestly, I mean, can't go wrong with that. Especially if you throw in a little cheese sauce. I mean, nacho cheese in there. Heck yeah. So y'all, th there's a restaurant. I don't know if all Mexican restaurants do this or not, but there's, there's this one that we go to. Um, it's, it's called tipsy taco. Uh, they're famous for their tacos. They do all sorts of gourmet tacos, really good restaurant, but you can order queso and for a little bit extra, they'll add ground beef to it, like the taco meat. And that is so stinking good. Like my regular Mexican restaurant here doesn't do that. And the first time I tried that, that was just like mind blowing good. Um, I don't know that I could eat that now, but, um, that it's so good. Uh, Stanley Socks, welcome. Thank you for pushing the like button. Appreciate that. Uh, my wife loves a good queso. I love queso. Oh, God, queso. But but it's got to be kind of good. You don't want... Some Mexican restaurants around here will do it kind of watery. You want good chip coverage. Yeah. Um, Is it chorizo? I've seen that added... No, this is just like the ground beef, just like they put in a taco. So just basically the taco meat. Uh, they just put like a scoop on top of the the bowl of cheese, and then you can kind of mix it in. Oh, it's so good. So good. I didn't know if other places do that or not. I have it with chorizo and pico, and that's good too. I... All right, now y'all are going to pick on me. Thank you, Stephen K. I don't like pico. I, I like my salsa to be, what's the word? Not chunky. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like a really chunky salsa. Um, now, having said that, I really like, at, at, if you're a member of Sam's Club, Sam's Club has on the border uh, salsa. Huge bottle. It's like Six bucks for a huge bottle. Way cheaper than the grocery store. That stuff is good. Uh, now, it's not runny. Runny is... is I, I like runny sometimes, Jonathan Chong. But that stuff is not... that. Th this stuff's a little chunkier than that. But it's not like Pico, where it's just like a bunch of chopped vegetable. This it, On the border, is good. The chips are really good, too, Kenneth. Yes. Um, Kate says she doesn't like Pico either. I, I'm not a big Pico fan. Um, so, it, I'm, it, for, Jonathan Chong says, I don't like Pico as well too much tomatoes. For me, it's the onions. I, I'm, I'm very picky with my onions. And I'll mention that when I get to another recipe, uh, if Wendy B comes in. Uh, I was going to, I got some pictures and stuff to talk about the about the one that I cooked yesterday. Uh, I usually don't discriminate salsa. Well, you know, uh, I don't like salsa with a lot of cilantro. So exactly. I'm not a big cilantro fan either. A lot of times they'll sprinkle cilantro all like all over your dish or something. Not a cilantro fan. Yeah. Um, they'll do that sometimes at like, at like, um, Moe's and Chipotle. Likes to do. I'm not a cilantro fan. No. Mm -mm. You can, yeah. Snickerdoodle gets my guacamole. I don't. I don't do the guacamole thing either. But yeah. Um. So. Uh huh. It is hard to get that taste out of your mouth. That's true. Um. I was going to put some music on. Um, uh, I prefer cilantro to be finely chopped. I hate it when they do whole stems of it. I can usually handle... Yeah, I knew that was coming. 
I can usually handle it if it's finely chopped, but again, I don't want a lot of it. A lot of people put tons of it on there. I don't know. Um, I love guac and it's good for you too. It is. I just, it's, I just, no. Uh, Paul Engel, welcome in. Good to see you. Howdy. Um, so, K Welby, howdy, K. Good to see you. Welcome in. Um, So, um, yeah, I didn't know this was going to turn into a, I can handle it in salsa, but not chopped on top of it. Yeah. So our local Mexican restaurant, a little goes a long way sometimes. That's true. Oh, many things. Um, our local Mexican restaurant does chop it finely and they put it in the salsa that they make. And I'm fine with that. It's usually not. There's not tons of it and it's okay. It's good in that, but I don't want it sprinkled all over my food and everywhere. Um, Chipotle does, I think a cilantro rice. I tried that one time. That was not, that was a no go for me. But y'all I've been craving, I've been craving a, a burrito bowl like nobody's business uh and, and i can have rice now but i still think the burrito bowl is going to be like weeks out I, I don't think i'm going to try that anytime soon um i have learned to take things very slow mark lane camp welcome in good to see you uh especially when trying things so yeah um and kenneth you mentioned dad cooks or cook builds or whatever it is i'm loving cooking i would love to do that 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 would be amazing I, oh, anyway. yeah, I think i get that from the parents both of my parents love to cook i think i get that from the two of them i don't do it very often but I, i've i've had fun this weekend cooking and experimenting yes uh, Jason Thibodeau, welcome in. Good to see you. Um, so you'd watch me cook for a daily chill stream. I thought about that. I thought about that. I'm not sure how I could set that up because separate buildings, but yeah. See, I don't need the rice in a burrito bowl. I love like I love the protein, like chicken and beans. Take out the beans. Rice. I'm not a beans person. No no beans. Um, tried that the other day, thinking maybe my taste buds had changed. Nope, still not a beans person. Um, hey, would watch me cook on stream. We may try that one night. I could probably do it from the the phone or something. A uh, new channel. Dead builds can cook. Oh wait, that's the other guy. Exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the other guy. So we might try that one night though. So, how it goes. Um, yeah, that was, that was today. Um, uh, woke up with a chef builds. I don't know about, I'm, I'm not that, not that on that level yet. Amory. I'm just cook builds. I'm not, not on the shelf level. Um, but thank you. Um, Andrew Benning. Hey, hey. Good to see you, brother. Uh, I am craving a grilled onion wrapped flying Dutchman from In N Out, but not enough at the moment with gas bakery. $5 a gallon to drive 30 minutes to get it. Wow. That would be an expensive fast food run. And I've never had in and out. They're not around here, but always hear how good they are. Um, I'm interested what a grilled onion wrapped flying Dutchman is. That sounds interesting. Um, I think we talked some about things that I've been craving. 
some point there's only one well there's two things that i've been craving and had really trouble saying no to uh, one of them was nachos uh the other one onion ring there's a couple places around here that do really good onion rings. And I don't know why, but I'm, I've had easier time saying no to French fries than it has been onion rings. Onion rings just call my name for some reason. And I don't understand it. Am I craving snickerdoodle? Um, that's a, that's a 24 seven, 365 craving. Yes. Um, but onion rings, those dad ordered, had some the other day and um, didn't eat them all. And I just, I, I kept, I, I looked at them and I was like, nobody would know if I tried just a little bite, just a small little bite, just a, no, nah, I didn't do it. Baker, good to see you, Chris. Uh, Baker sent me a very nice message today. I appreciated that Baker a lot let you know I mean a lot i appreciate it spaceship here's welcome in howdy howdy um hat box ghost jerry i learned your name from tina who knows your name welcome in hat box ghost uh so yeah that that's been my two issues that i've had set, trouble saying no to nachos and onions um, there you go. I don't know what we're going to do with that. But anyway. Um, yeah. Um, Baker put his number in number 51. Thumbs up. Nice. Appreciate the, uh, the thumbs up. The like, um, that, that makes me think of you putting your number in like that though, Baker makes me think of another thing where people put their numbers in the recognition series. I hadn't told Pete yet. He's doing a stream right now of wrestling, but um, I've started working on that, that next series already. So, there's that. Um, I appreciate y'all being here and hanging out tonight. Uh, no interstellar tonight. Uh, too bad that's one of my favorite movies. We're going to do it next week, John. Um, Steve wasn't feeling that great tonight and wanted to rest up for work and the stream tomorrow night. Uh, he's already got his thumbnail up, so be sure to go check that out. He'll be at uh, Epcot tomorrow night for Crowder, uh, which should be awesome. And, um, and I had a migraine this morning, so wasn't sure i could i could stay focused on the movie that whole time so we'll, we'll push interstellar out to next week uh monorail molly hello sis good to see you dear um i was just telling jennifer Cruz a great stream tonight from uh clubhouse chaotic chat y'all did a great job um i learned a lot about jennifer Russo. i i've met the late met met the lady and and met ron and i learned a lot about it about them tonight it was really cool i enjoyed it um how is your water intake chris that's a good question baker um so they want me to start pushing to 64 ounces a day that's a lot of work i'm not gonna lie to y'all uh I'm doing good with everything considering I'm getting about 55 ounces a day so far. Um, so it's getting there. Mouth Chris. Yeah. It's, um, but yeah, it, it's kind of a slow process. It's yeah, I'm trying a lot to do especially when your stomach's the size of a Easter egg. That's, that's, that's drinking water a lot um there's water in beer just saying i wish can't have any alcohol though so, 
Yeah. Um, that was another thing. Listening to to um, talking about some of the the drinks we had around Epcot and all on the stream last night, the other night, and uh, realizing no no uh, no alcohol. That, that yeah. anyway, we'll get there maybe. Um, Molly says, I've been crushing it with my circle bottle. I'm almost addicted. I'm getting going to get back into mine this week. Um, uh, I can't, couldn't have anything with the straw, uh, because I didn't know this myself, but you get more gas in your stomach when you use a straw. And so I couldn't do that because I needed that space for food. Uh, but I'm going to start using my circle bottle again this week. So, um, 55 ounces is good keeping fluid flowing i think that's what's it's what i'm trying i mean i'm trying I, I i have one of these which is 32 ounces and i'm going through that about a time and a half a day uh i'm also drinking a good bit of coffee too so i think with the two together i'm close to 55 maybe 62 ounces a day I'm, I'm trying it's yeah and work is is yeah that's uh doc put my stomach back where you found it <laughs> yeah yeah um so anyway that's that's i i i'm i was thinking about this last night after the stream i hope y'all don't mind me talking about this um um it's um I hope it's not becoming a thing where, oh, here he goes talking about the diet again. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it kind of helps me some, um, Robert Dixon, welcome in. Diesel and fan. Howdy. Good to see you. Um, it does help me kind of be a little accountable too, though, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a journey and I just kind of enjoy sharing it, which surprises me, but. Um, it's your stream. Talk about anything you want to. We're here for well. Thank you, Nicole. Um, and Jeff, and uh, yeah. Uh, Paul Engel says, My main source of water is from my circle bottle. I usually get around 70 ounces a day. That's great. Um, Jay Grubbs, welcome in. Good to see you. Hey, hey. Uh, I had a friend who did it and lost 200 pounds. Um, Snickerdoodle says it's motivating. Me. That's what gets me. So, I'm glad. Um, okay. Yep. Um, anyway. Yeah, it, it is. Mars said it's uh, you're you're verbalizing about your new normal. That's exactly what it is, Mars. So, um. Mary Kehoe, good to see you, Mary. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, G. Wilson, welcome in. Um, it is a big part of the life now. It is. Um, it's. Disneyland fan loves to hear about it and the progress. Um, uh, it's 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 figuring things out. It's it's hard. Um, I'll be honest. A big part of our normal life was eating out we would eat out a lot a week hey tina good to see you um i'm by myself tina and i didn't want to bug you because you already did a stream tonight so. hey tina um thank you robert i appreciate it uh i love that yeah um we we ate out a lot and uh it's hard now when I take dad will have a doctor's appointment or something. And while we're out, we would always stop and get, um, we get lunch or supper or something while we're out. It, it gives dad another opportunity to be out and about. And, uh, they enjoy, he enjoys eating out. So, 
we would usually do that and now it's kind of hard it, it's more like okay where can chris eat we have to and it's just hard to to eat out still um but um the casserole i made last night i'm very excited about that because that i reheated that for supper actually this evening and it reheated so well and that's going to give me a lot of meals off of that so um yeah food is such a space of yours food is such a thing to do and when it's gone it's a challenge to fill that vacuum in your life that 100 percent um i was talking about that with snickerdoodle um because going through this process i've learned uh that That I wasn't eating because I was hungry. I mean, straight up. I was not eating because I was hungry. I was eating to be eating. Uh, whether it was for emotional reasons or habit. God, habit. I mean, sit down to watch a race. And I had to have something to eat. I mean, I just had to. It wasn't right if I wasn't sitting there eating while I was watching the race or, or a movie or just sitting here working on videos. I had to have something I was shoving in my face. And it just, yeah. It, um, it, it's very life changing. Um, but can you eat salads yet? Not yet. No. Uh, I can't have salads until. April the 22nd. So, oh wow, that's just two weeks away. There you go. Um, wow, that means tomorrow will be my six week mark from my surgery, a month and a half. Wow. Uh, I've tried to play snacking with drinking water. They are that. There you go. Um, yeah. um, already six weeks. I felt the same way, Nicole, when I just looked at that. That's crazy to me. Um, just, yeah. Um, but I found a lot of sugar-free things that, that I, I mean, it's, that's, so that's what I have learned a lot. Um, thank you, Kate. Appreciate that. Um, I always thought diet foods meant bad foods. Um, I can't eat the Tina. It's gone by really quick. Um, or that they had no taste or that they were bland and just not good. And I don't know if it's because I haven't had so much stuff in so long. Um, I will tell you before I went all liquids and phased out everything. I loved zero sugar sodas. Uh, not like, so I, I still didn't like, like Pepsi and Coke zero sugar, but like Sprite zero sugar. I loved that seven up beer wine, a and W root beer. I love those in zero sugar. And I got to where I like those Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. I liked those better than I did the, the regular ones. Uh, of course I, I can't have those now, but, um, I haven't really craved them. Which is weird to me because those, I drink those all the time. Um, but anyway, um, but I started because of the, the, the prep before the, the surgery um for a while there i could only have like uh um sugar-free popsicles or uh, like the frozen popsicles um i don't know why i did that gesture um <laughs> or sugar-free pudding uh sugar-free jello and and it's little things like that you're like wow this tastes like 
normal stuff. And um, when I made the casserole last night, I used, um, I actually used no sugar added Prego. Tastes exactly the same. Love it. Great. Um, uh, Hatbox said, I recently went to sugar free 15 calories each popsicles for snacks. Exactly. They're, they're great. Uh, and my dietitian, when I was on the liquid diet, told me that he actually counted part of my liquid too. So, that, but, um, Julie Young. Hey, Julie. Good to see you. Thank you, Shrinking Man. Yeah. Slowly but surely, maybe. Um, does anyone else keep a jar of sauce in your office? <laughs> So I brought that down here to show Wendy B. Wendy B wanted to know the recipe for the casserole. So I brought that to show Wendy B. It's, I don't usually keep sauce in the office. No. Sorry, Jeff. Um, how much sodium in that Prego? There was, that's where a lot of the thing, those things get. Yes. So they do, what I found interesting is they do the no sugar added and then they do a separate one that's low sodium. Can we not do both of those in one jar, please? Um, this one has, where is it? This one has a lot. So in a half a cup, it's, um, it is, uh, that can't be. 460 milligrams. There you go. But I didn't add salt to it when I mixed it anyway. Uh, Kenneth H, $5 with the floating hippos. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Hippos. Hippos. I kept Huck right here. Nicole. Um, Julie McCowan, welcome in. Good to see you, Julie. Uh, Corby Sinclair, welcome in, Corby. Howdy, howdy. Um, K will be with the 999 spinning hippo. Thank you, K. I appreciate it. Um, hippos tie us together. Yeah, they do. It's a thing now, apparently. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it's it. That's just been what I've what I've been working and trying to explore different recipes and um, cook things in different ways because I'm getting tired of some of the same stuff over and over again. But um, I'm still grooving. I found a uh, a um, Chris S. Welcome in. Howdy. Um, hey Corby. Say it again. Um. I found a honey mustard it's really good that is uh, sugar free and um, I've really enjoyed that I also found uh, Jason Thibodeau with the $5 running hippo thank you Jason y'all are awesome I don't have to do all the hippos but I appreciate it um, a lot Paul Engel with the $10 spinning chair hippo <laughs> Who knew all these hippos were there? I, I had no idea. Jennifer Crusoe with the floating hippos. Thank you, Jennifer. Y'all are, y'all, y'all bless me so much. Thank you. Y'all don't have to do all that, but thank you. Uh, my favorite sauce for pasta is just some olive oil and lemon. Here's my trouble with that, Debbie. I'm the type of person when I would order spaghetti at a restaurant, I would ask for extra meat sauce. I love the sauce. I don't know. I can't. I, it's a thing. Uh, Jeanette, Sebastian the Crab. Hello, Jeanette. Welcome in. And in case you didn't know, Jeanette's name is spelled with... With two N's, one Y, but it's not where you think. Exactly. Um... So, yeah, I love the sauce. Or as Pete calls it, gravy. Didn't know some people called it gravy. Theo Sam Eagle, welcome in. 
extra sauce hold the pasta? Does anybody else, after you're finished eating your spaghetti with the left up and you have like some leftover sauce in your plate or both, use bread to sop it up? Because I would do that all the time and it was so good. It, it, the, it, maybe it was just me. Maybe that was a bad thing to do. Um. Yeah, the bread, they would bring out the bread, bread, the sauce. Absolutely. Yes. See, I'm not the only one. Okay. I thought maybe it was just me, but no, I would totally, I would clean that plate thoroughly with bread. Oh, it was so good. And I'll tell y'all another trick. Uh, I actually did this the other day. Um, take a little bit of the sauce. And you put it on a, on a, like a, uh, a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a wrap, uh, a tortilla wrap, and then sprinkle some cheese on there and stick that sucker in the oven for a few minutes. Make yourself a nice little crispy pizza. Back in the day, I would just use loaf bread, leftover spaghetti sauce and cheese. All them homemade pizzas. Now I can't have all that bread. Just did it today with homemade bread. See, Amory, there you go. Um, bread. That's the cage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, that's um, that's 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 what we got. Um. We make tortilla pizzas often. Okay, so here's the, here, all right. So I was gonna wait for Wendy, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I talked last night about the, uh, if you weren't here, I made, made this um, yesterday. Um, I've, I, I ate it for supper last night. I've reheated some of it today. So good. I don't mean to brag, but it's maybe it's cause I've been craving stuff like this, but it's so good. Um, but I, I got some pictures, um, of, of what it, what it, crustless pizza, sort of, uh, a lot of websites. I went and saw this called it, uh, crustless pizza or, um, pizza casserole. Um, I put my spaghetti on buttered bread. I have a I have a cousin that will take leftover spaghetti cold out of the fridge and eat a sandwich out of it. And I cannot that that grosses me out. You got to heat that stuff up. That's just ugh. Anyway. Uh so fat, going back. So this is what I used or this is what I used. Um, let me, let me take this out a minute. These are zero net carbs, keto friendly, um, wraps. And these are the small ones because let's face it. That's about, if I made a taco out of that, that's the only taco I can eat. But, um, this is what I used for that. Uh, so I would cut it up, cut them in half to, to get the edges put one in the middle. Uh, I used um, a pack of ground turkey, lean ground turkey. Um, and then I would, I coated it here somewhere. Yeah, I coated it. it I, uh, I, I did my ground turkey, added the, the, Prego, no sugar added sauce to it. Uh, VP, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Um, I added some Italian seasoning, uh, some um, did the did the ground beef. Added some Italian seasoning, uh, a little bit of uh, garlic powder, and um, 
some dehydrated onion because I again I'm not big into fresh onion. Um, I love making spaghetti bake from leftover spaghetti. Pen, welcome in. Pen, all you need is white sauce, cheese, and the baking tray. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're doing well, Pen. Good to see you. Um, so I, I cooked the sauce. I lined the plate, the pan, like I said, with the, the tortillas. Uh, covered that in sauce. Uh, used fat-free mozzarella. Covered it there. Uh, I used um, low-fat or skim ricotta, because I love ricotta. Put some of that on there. And then just repeat it with the, the tortillas, the sauce, that sauce. I, I, I knocked it out of the park with the sauce, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, and then more ricotta cheese. Topped it with um, the low-fat pepperoni. Uh, a little sprinkle, a little more cheese on top and baked. And let me tell you, it's so good. Um so good chris i will make sure wendy watches replay to see the recipe she will be mad she missed it I, i'll text her to get you i appreciate that um but yeah it i uh put it all together put it in the oven uh baked it for on like 350 for i think 20 minutes and then i put it on broil just for a couple of minutes because i wanted to get those the the top kind of crispy and those pepperoni a little crispy. Um, it was, it's so good. Uh, the girl child and boy child both tried it and were amazed. And Evan doesn't even like things like that. Like I mentioned last night, both of them thought it was good. Uh, mom and dad loved it. So I got a feeling I may be making another one soon. Um, thank you. Disneyland fan. Um, I love ricotta. Uh, I know Steve doesn't like ricotta. Somebody else, another friend, uh, doesn't like ricotta. I I love ricotta. Uh, how does it reheat? Ask Kay. Uh, I reheated it today. So I'll here. I'll show you this. Um, this that's about how much I eat. So I I I I cut out basically this little square here. Uh, that's about how much I eat. Now this pan is i mean we're talking a little pan here uh but that's that's about how much i ate um and then today i ate about that much again i popped it in the microwave and um in the microwave i think i really let it go for like a minute and a half two minutes and it was good and hot tasted amazing i don't know what it is like spaghetti tastes better sometimes the day after this this did almost the same thing uh so it reheated really good uh carbs are my motor enemy i love them so much they're so i'm this i was the same way uh exact same way uh i love ricotta i do uh debbie thuner doesn't like it i love it in like a spaghetti or i mean in a pasta uh, lasagna love ricotta uh, my one daughter who loves cheese can't handle the texture of ricotta. I get that. So I think Steve, that's why Steve doesn't like it, um, is the texture, but I, I it's so good. And it, it just makes the, it, it works so well in a lasagna. Have you noticed the keto tortillas last way longer than regular ones? I've been buying those and they last so much longer these have i've had these a couple weeks or, or another pack of these i bought this pack um when i was making the casserole because i wasn't sure how many i would use but they do last really well stay nice and soft and everything um ricotta is so yummy yes uh i have the texture issue with cottage cheese now cottage cheese is one that they told me initially after I finished the liquid phase right after the surgery um, and I was coming back to, to some solid foods that I could have cottage cheese. I don't like the texture of cottage cheese. I, I can't do that one. Uh, Nanny used to slap my hands away when she was making lasagna. Yeah. 
Um, I could go for your nano's lasagna and I've never even had it. Just the thought. Yeah, exactly. Um, have y'all seen, so I noticed this the other day in the grocery store and I think mom has used these before. They now have, um, ready to cook like lasagna noodles. So like you don't have to boil them like you used to. You just put the little strip thing in the pan and, and your sauce and everything and, and go. Have y'all seen these? Uh, Cause we had them one time and it was good. But to me, that just goes against the, the classic making lasagna. Um, Whip your cottage cheese in a food processor. I promise you'll love it. I'll try that, Julie McCowan. Uh, yes, oven ready are the best. Really? Okay. Maybe I'll have to try them again. Um, I use the oven ready lasagna noodles. Okay. I'll give them, an, well, I won't give them another go right now, but. I think mom had used them one time. I can't remember. Um, I can start to have some pasta, but I'm afraid to do it because that's a lot of starch. Uh, and I'm trying to think or find another form of pasta that I might like. So I know they make like chickpea pasta or different things like that, but I'm so picky. I'm afraid to, to try those. If anybody has ever tried any alternate alternative, um, not sure if the gluten free one is up and ready. Okay, uh, cottage cheese makes me feel sick. I love it, but it gives me stomach ache. Oh, okay. Who puts zucchini on lasagna? Not I. I would stick with protein things for right now because pasta is so too filling. That's that's what I'm thinking. And also why I'm afraid to try the uh, the rice and all right now. You all convinced me here to try. There you go. You're welcome. Zucchini noodles. That's what it was. And you like those, Julie? Um, bonza or red bean pasta? Watch 91. Welcome in. I'll have to write that down too. Okay. I gotta write these down now. All right. Uh zucchini noodles and then bonzo or red bean pasta. Okay. I'll look into it. Um I have to do the zoodles fresh. We got a talk snicker doodle. How do you make them fresh? Uh, I eat gluten-free noodles. I really like them. Christine Hickman. Okay. I can look for those. Uh, I don't eat much cheese at all. My allergies. I just dislike the idea of spoiled milk. <laughs> See, um, I, I, I'll take all the cheese. I love cheese. That, that was one of my weaknesses. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, not really like zucchini noodles, but I have no control once I start eating real pasta. You know, that's true. Um, wait, what, what, what are we wanting? What, what, wait, what, um, yeah, I love pasta. I'm going to get my music back in here and remove this. And, uh... That's me. Cheese is spoiled milk. Well, no sense. <laughs> Triggered Tina. Yeah. Buy a spiralizer. Oh, so you make your own? Okay. 
I'll I'll look into that. I roll. Cheese is also mold. That's a yeah. That's true. Uh, however, I don't eat the extra moldy kind, which is also known as blue cheese. Not, not no. That that's just cheese. It's gone bad. Yes, I have a spiral one. Okay. Uh, Tommy and I had lunch at Sal's Pizza Bar. He loved it. He sent me a text. BP actually. After y'all left there, I got this huge text from Tommy that said y'all went and that it was like amazing it blew his mind uh he said and I quote um like top tier here in Florida hands down absolute perfection so that place must be good um Um, we'll do. Thank you, Nicole. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, I wasn't planning on making this whole food stream, but there you go. That's where it seems like where it's ending up a lot. Later. Um, so yeah, um, Yeah, I love cheese. Cheese sticks. Uh, I do miss. I always liked like uh, extra sharp cheddar. Um, I haven't been able to have that yet. Have that yet. So, um, thank you, Kenneth, for dropping Jennifer Crusoe's Give Kids a World link again. Thank you, sir. Cheese is literally con coagulated milk, though. That's yeah, it is. And it's so tasty. Sorry you don't like it. Especially if you're... Um, but yeah. Uh, put me down for... For a full tray. I'll take yours. Um, let me pull up real quick here. There's a couple of things I was wanting to... To mention. We'll kind of... Pivot a little bit here. Uh, we have a cheese here called... Big and bitty, and it's so good on burgers. That sounds good. Is it like a? Is it? Is it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it like a sharp cheese or, or something? Uh, Tillamook extra sharp white cheddar is the. Yes, it is. I love some Tillamook cheese, but none of the grocers around here have Tillamook that's like low fat or no fat. Oh. Limited there. Um, nice and sharp. I like a good sharp cheese. Sweet. Um, Y'all, yeah. I really want to start cooking. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I just want to get in the kitchen and just go for like hours. And I can't eat any of it. I would love nothing more. To get in the kitchen and make like brownies and cookies. And I know I can't eat them, and that's perfectly fine with me, but I would love to make them. Tried so hard to make you happy. Don't know what that says, but there you go. I would love to change my job and, and start cooking. Making cupcakes and doing fun things with the frosting. I would I would love to do that. That would be anyway. uh, fine recipes you can portion and freeze. That's sort of what I'm doing, Gitchy, uh, especially with the casserole I made yesterday. The whole reason I made that is so I can portion it out and um, reheat it for like while I'm working and stuff. Easy. So uh, it's it's been harder for me to. It's hard for me to find, buy stuff at the grocery store, like a big pack of, of chicken tenders or chicken, boneless chicken breast, something like that. It's hard for me to buy a big, big pack of those 
and then come home and take one out and one out and one it it just anyway um that's why i made the casserole a little bit of time and yeah so cargo welcome in good to see you make them for someone else i might chris i could do that as a giveaway i'm gonna make cookies and brownies and do it as a giveaway on the stream one now <laughs> um i would love to see vlogs or streams you cook healthy meals for people who have gone through what you've been through well that I, you know um while i was cooking that yesterday i thought you know i took the pictures but i thought you know i really should be filming this and I don't know why I've never done a vlog like that, but it'd be, it'd be fun to do. Uh, Sean Rogers, good to see you, sir. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just loving cooking and exploring and trying things. It's like, I feel like Remy. In, in Ratatouille, I just want to get in the kitchen and smell things and try things and mix them together and see what. Anyway. I'll stop. Uh, Chris, do you have to watch Sodium? And yes, I think a lot of us would love to see what you do with the recipes. Well, thank you. Uh, I, I'm not really watching Sodium. They haven't told me to watch my sodium intake. I'll be honest. We don't use a lot of salt here anyway because of dad's uh, health and issues. So, like the salt that I used for my my uh, nacho chips that I made today, uh, I actually used a salt substitute instead of actual salt. So, um, I, I am having fun enjoying. You know, so. Yeah, I, I, I don't really watch my salt, but I don't use a lot of salt. Uh, I don't, I'm not one of those people that put salt on like cooked foods that are, you know, just, as I'm sitting here eating them, it's a whole thin mess. You know, there's a couple of things you could do with thin mess. Tina with more $5 floating hippos. Thank you, Bay. Um, Chris, does subbing in something like Himalayan pink salt count, that's supposed to be healthier? I, I probably could, Kenneth. Um, we have this, it's a jar of Mortensen salt, but it's salt substitute. And it worked pretty good on the, uh, the, the nachos, but... I'll have to look into that. I know you can buy like a grinder for the, the Himalayan pink salt. I'll have to look into that. I uh, think recently trying low sodium. I don't use salt either, but it's in so many hidden places. It is very true. Yeah. I know you love the floating hippos. Yup. They're cute. Thank you. Uh, go back and read my belly written comment. Uh, here's some useless Aussie trivia. The makers of Big and Bitey are called Bega Cheese. Bega, Bega Cheese. It's named after the town where it's made. I've been to the factory hundreds of times. And they bought Vegemite, really? That's a Vegemite sandwich. Yeah. Iodized salt. It says salt substitute. Let me see if I can find it. Because um, I just saw the label. Uh, more. Salt. Morton. Salt. This is what it is. Uh, yeah. So this is this is what we use. Uh, 
Morton salt substitute, completely sodium free. Uh, nutritional facts. Uh, it's got uh, a bunch of potassium in it. Um, but yeah, that, that that's what that's what we use. Yeah, except um, it's a sodium-free product designed for people who have doctor-recommended sodium restriction diet. Uh, but remember, it's important to consult a physician before using a salt substitute. So, yeah. Um, that's that's what we use. Um, high dye salt is actually good for you in proper amounts. Yeah, I, I salt substitute. They use for salt substitute. I don't know. Magic? I don't know. It 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 worked well. Um. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I don't know where it was. Um. Yeah. So that's what we use. I, I, like I said, I, I don't usually watch my salt intake, but I don't use a lot of salt anyway. Um, potassium chloride, salt is sodium chloride. Oh, okay. And Penn followed up. I was confused about the salt. Vega are now the sole owners of Vegemite and built a new factory behind the cheese factory. <laughs> for folks with kidney issues. Huh. Okay, so don't take all of my recommendations. Um, I uh, thought I'd show some of these. We used to talk about these a good bit. On the Friday night stream with Pete, when I pull up merch and stuff, uh, but we retooled it and do it a different way now. So uh, I thought we'd talk a little bit about merch tonight, because um, there was a couple of things I saw that that I thought were pretty cool. Um, Disney fan said, "I just passed a kidney stone last night." So pleasant night. That is the worst experience I think anyone could ever experience. And I say that having people, women that have given birth tell me that doing that is much worse than giving birth. Um, Jeanette says, ouch, I've never had one, but Matt suffered with them for about 15 years ago. Not fun at all. So, probably, let's see, 2024, probably about seven years ago, six or seven years ago, uh, I woke up at like two o'clock in the morning and thought I was having the worst cramp of my life. And I felt like someone was straight up stabbing me in my lower back, lower left of my back. Horrible pain. Couldn't get any relief. I wrote, death is our dream. Welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, I've had kidney stones twice. Um, couldn't get any relief. I had to go in early to work that morning. Uh, I was crying in pain on the way to work and I got almost there and 
I passed a hospital. I drove about a mile down the road and I was like, I can't do it. I was just bawling. I called my supervisor. I was like, I'm not going to make it. Whatever you got to do, you got to do. I just, I can't. Turned around, went to the hospital, kidney stones. They gave me morphine. I've never, I'm, I don't know that I've ever been given straight morphine before that. That stuff will leave you feeling pretty good. It's brutal. Yeah. Um, one every other month, really. Quit soda and haven't had one for months. Wow. I, um, yeah. So they gave me morphine and then I felt good. It passed apparently. And I felt fine from the morphine and I went on to work. It was one of the best days of work cause I didn't care at all. <laughs> anyway. Um, there's all oh, these have changed since I came in last night. Uh, let me pull up a couple of these. Um, I thought these were all pretty cool. talk about this for a few minutes uh here we go and i should have had all this ready before the stream but i didn't so there you go here we go all right so um Uh, ever pull your lower back? Wait, what? Uh, ever pull your boat? Not fun at all. Yeah, I'm sure that's not. Uh, I've had spinal surgery in my neck, though. If that counts. Because it was broke. Um, anyway. Good to see everybody. Jeff, great stream today, sir. Enjoyed it. Um, yeah, Animal Kingdom always rocks, so. though. You, you rock Animal Kingdom. There you go. That's better. Um, yeah. That's true, too. Um, so Pulse Gallery does the Artland pans. Uh, they've had a few that have come out in the past this weekend and last weekend that I thought were kind of cool. thought we might look at those. Uh, and there's some new stuff on Shop Disney um, I thought we'd take a look at. This is uh, Donald's Vacation. This is a limited edition pen of 250. It's three inches by two inches. And it's Donald in a boat. Um, I love the coloring in that. I may have to order that. Maybe. Uh, this one for the numbered edition is $40 US. Uh, if you wanted the artist proof, it's 50 bucks US. Uh, they also came out with this one, Donald's Golf Game. So there's Donald about to tee it up. Um, this one is also a limited edition of 250, uh, two and a half inches width and height. Um, and it's also, this one's 37 91 for the numbered and 50 bucks for the artist proof. Um, and then they had these two. This one is lady from lady and the tramp. 
250 limited edition, uh, two and three quarters by two inches approximate. Uh, this one's 3665 for the numbered edition or 50 bucks for the artist proof. There's a better picture of it. So you can see a little bit better. Cool. Uh, I like that one. I like that a lot. Uh, in each of these, this is the backer that the pin comes on. The The opposite side of these pins, the opposite side of that backer card is like the certificate of authenticity and they handwrite what number out of the 250 you have. Uh, got a ninja for friends. Need to get ready for the work day. Have a good night, Kenneth, and a good week, sir. Thank you so much for all you do. Um, Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, uh, the this the backer card is a certificate on those, and like I said, they hand number like two hundred five out of two hundred and fifty, whatever, whichever number it is on the back there. And then this is Isma's disdain. Uh, so it's Isma in all her glory with her little tendrils from her cape or whatever on the back there. Uh, this one is $60. Uh, this one's a four by three inch pen. So larger pen, uh, limited edition of only 200. Um, and then $73 if you want the artist proof on that one. So there you go. Um, That is a pen that can do some serious damage if on that's true. Yeah, it's very spiky. Nick D'Ambrosio, welcome in. Howdy, good to see you. Pull the lever cronk. Yep. Um, but that's some of the new ones over at Pulse Gallery. Like I said, I, I kind of like these Donald ones. I'm a Donald fan, so I like that one of him in the boat. Uh, David Baco, welcome in. That looks like a ninja star. It kind of did. Yeah. Uh, over on Shop Disney, they've got some new uh, statues. So this is the Scar Unfit Ruler Jim Shore uh, for $39.99. I think they had one out similar to this. Might have been a little bit bigger, but this one's $39.99. Uh, this one is four and a quarter inches tall. Um, from Jim Shore Studios, $39.99 for that one. And then they came out with some Sleeping Beauty stuff. This is Flora Fauna Meriwether minifigure set. Um, they are all stone resin. They stand two and a half inches tall, which is kind of small. But forty four ninety nine for the three of them. Yeah. Um, there they are. They're cute. Uh, and then also as part of that, this is the Aurora as Briar Rose botanical figure. They did a whole line of botanical figures. Uh, this is Briar Rose botanical. This is $100 for this one. Or with the little bird on her hand in her um cottage dress uh this one uh is uh also from i believe this is also yeah it's from Inesco, which is part of the gym shore uh eight and a quarter inches tall on this one so nice bigger statue 100 bucks for that one or you can get briar rose go away ed uh in her 65th anniversary Jim Shore figure, this one is $200, uh, but it's very detailed in, in her dress and the sculpting. Uh, got her basket of roses and a little blue bird there in the blue dress. Uh, this one is 15 inches tall, stone resin. And it's two hundred dollars. Yeah. 
Um, so, must have gone. Okay, I'm going to have leftover Ross for lunch. Nice. Um, I like Aurora. This I, I like. I like that one, but 200's a little. Uh, it's a 15 inch statue, so I mean that's that's a bigger piece. Uh, Jeanette, I saw this and I thought about you if you're still here. This is Sebastian Flounder and Scuttle minifigure set. So you get, uh, all three of them. Uh, these are sculpted in stone resin. These are tiny, only an inch and three quarters tall. So I guess if you had a, an aerial statue, these would go with, um, you can kind of set them up there. Forty-four ninety-nine for these, this little set. So, um, yeah. And then this is the aerial botanical figure. This one is a hundred dollars. Uh, this has Ariel holding Sebastian in her hand with the, uh, coral behind her there. There you see him a little bit better. I like the coloring of this. Um, there is, she is with her hair swirling in the background. Um, hundred dollars for that one. This one is eight inches tall, stone resin, fully sculpted as well. Um, yeah, I thought that we could keep maybe have the the other ones a little something beside her or something, but yeah, hundred bucks for that one botanical figure. Uh, this is the new Jim Shore Mickey Mickey Mouse and friends pals forever by jim shore this one is 170 dollars. so you got mickey and minnie and donald and daisy and pluto and goofy all all of them all the whole gangs here uh this one stands nine and a half inches tall uh nine inches wide stone resin 170 dollars for that one um this is, I like this one a lot. I don't know what it is, but I like, I like this a lot. This is the Pride Rock uh, by Jim Shore, $120. So you've got uh, Simba and Nala, Timon and Pumbaa, uh, Rafiki and Zazu there on the front. And then peering around from behind is Scar back there. Uh, this whole piece stands about nine inches tall, nine inches wide. Um, I really like the, the coloring and uh, detail on that. Down here, you got the little Simba drawing Rafiki did. Um, star, scar staring from the back gives me life. Yeah. I love that, that aspect of that. Um, just kind of peering around there. These are cool statues. Uh, 120 bucks for that. I didn't think it was too bad for that size. Night K will be. Have a good one. Hope you have a good week too. Uh, Tina McNeil. Hey, howdy. Good to see you, Tina. Um, so, uh, this is Mickey and Minnie, the botanical figure. This is a hundred dollars. So you got Mickey, Minnie in her little red checkered dress and Mickey. They, they look like they're dressed up for dapper days or something. Maybe it's just me. Uh, but a hundred bucks. They're holding hands there. Ever so cute. Uh, six and three quarter inches tall. Eight and a quarter inches wide. Um, I thought that was a cute set. Uh, Main Street Nick's out too. Have a good night, Nick. Hope you have a good week too. Uh, okay, I'm going to make lunch and load the dishwasher. Be right back. All right. Have a good night, Nick. Thanks for popping in. Good to see you. Um, this is Donald Duck, a flying duck by Jim Shore. Him flying a kite and looking like he's being taken away. His hat's even falling off like Jeff when he walked into the tree. Um. 
This one's six inches tall, six and three quarter inches wide. Uh, with the kite up above him there. Um, so sixty nine ninety nine for for Donald. Uh, this one's really cool. Uh, this is Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, by Jim Shore. This one's only forty nine ninety nine. Um, but you got Maleficent there with, uh, ouch, Chris, <laughs> you're welcome, Jeff. Just thinking about you, buddy. That's all. Um, with, with the, the Raven on her finger and I never can remember his name. Um, yeah, he was laughing, Tina. He looked like he was having fun, even though he's being carried away. I like that. Uh, but this Maleficent is a smaller piece at forty nine ninety nine. This one is uh, four inches tall, four inches wide. So it's a smaller one, but I do like that pose. Usually you have Maleficent kind of full standing. This one's a nice one with her in the, on the throne. I thought so. Um, this is the Ariel. A Mermaid's Tale storybook by Jim Shore. So it's like opening up pages of the book. There she is with Flounder and Sebastian. Um, like the book come to life. Here is the back of it. It actually shows the back cover of Disney's Little Mermaid. Um, this one is $100 as well. It is... Six and a quarter inches tall, seven three quarter inches wide on that one. Uh, Diablo is the raven's name. Thank you. I never can remember it. And it seems like a name I should remember, but never can. Anyway, back to dad's topics. <laughs> hey, I didn't get any in last night. So here we are now. Um, yep. Sebastian's getting some love in all of these. There you go. Um, this is the Tinkerbell botanical figure. This one's cute. Eighty nine ninety nine. I like this pose and this look of Tinkerbell and the little purple flowers at her feet. Um, fixing her hair up there, and then the the wings are still kind of kind of translucent. Um. That one is eight and a quarter inches tall, uh, four and a quarter inches wide. Uh, polyresin and stone powder. So the polyresin is the wings and then stone powder is the rest of the figure. Uh, you're good, Sean. No worries. Precise signs. Good to see you. Hadn't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Oh, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge Tink fan. But I love these colors. They are really cool. I love how the, the green and the purple it just all kind of pops. And the little blue trim on her wings. Um yeah. I really like that. Eighty nine ninety nine. That's a that's a taller statue for eighty nine ninety nine. That's not bad at all. Um let's see. That tank has some curves. I don't remember those in Peter Pan. Yeah. She she got a little anyway. It's good. I like it. Uh, this is the Jasmine Botanical figure in this same line. $100. So you got Jasmine here holding a little dove in, in her outfit. Which is a little different than the movie outfit, if I remember correctly. But uh, still cute. Sitting on a little bed of... Bench with flowers all around and holding a little dove. Uh, $100 for that one. Uh, this is six inches tall, five and three quarter inches wide. On it. Uh, <laughs> as long as you don't have a tink poster over your bed, we're good. No, don't have one of those. We're good. Yep. Um, and then they came out with a few things for May the 4th. These are available on Shop Disney right now. Uh, we'll get some more May the 4th stuff when it actually hits. Uh, the special lightsaber that they'll be selling that day in the park. 
and for like two minutes on Shop Disney before it sells out is the Darth Maul double bladed staff. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I have always wanted that Darth Maul staff. It is so cool. You can buy the two individual ones at Doc Condars now. And then they come with a connector to where you can put them together as a staff. Uh, this one comes already all done, everything ready to go, and it, it looks amazing. Um, I, I'm going to have to get up early and see how much it's going for um, and if it's possible, snag it. But usually those things are closer to like, if I remember right, if Jeff's here or somebody – was was there last year i want to say the one they had last year was like four hundred dollars uh and i'm sure the darth maul will probably be right around there too um well, i have two when you can have four like grievous that's true two spaceship ears i just don't have that much money but <laughs> yeah um i thought getting darth mauls would be really cool going across the top up there the background uh but anyway uh this is what's out right now this is may the fourth be with you uh baseball cap 29.99 it is a snapback hat uh but i kind of like the look of that one um oh dad do you recall the last time you got up at 3 a.m to buy something off shop disney I do, Sean, and it was about two years ago when they were doing that whole Stitch series. It did not work out well. No, actually, it was the Princess series when they were doing the puzzle, the ornament, the statue, and um, the pen. And they would drop them at 3 a.m. And for like 12 months, I got up at 3 a.m. to try to snag those. Uh, me and Steve actually hung out backstage a couple of nights doing that. No, no, it was those cards that you wanted and they were instantly so that's true, Sean. I forgot about that. They did that with the cards too. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you for all the wonderful memories, Sean. <laughs> um, almost had one made for a friend. Would have cost me four hundred dollars in the electronics from my Hasbro one. Couldn't dismantle my blue Kenobi one. It's an older model. Took better batteries. Uh. Uh. Pins back. Hot bowl of rice. And a husky sniffing the air. There you go. Uh. I appreciate it, Sean. Yeah. I. I probably. I'll just get to see the page and sold out. If it's 400 bucks it might as well be sold out to be honest but anyway um there's the hat uh this is the magic band go away ed uh for may the fourth be with you this is um this animation style reminds me of the old old star wars droids cartoon show uh it's still available on on disney plus but it was very much drawn like this. Um, it's not terrible, but yeah. uh, May the 4th, it looks like you've got maybe Boba Fett on the other side, I'm assuming. Um, I hate it when they only show one side. You showed me 36 pictures of the Aurora statue. You can't show me four pictures of a magic band. But anyway. Um, But I buy way more Star Trek merch than Star Wars. Really, Spaceship Ears. I'm a Trekkie, too. Uh, this is tempting. May the 4th is her birthday. Oh, yeah. This would be some good stuff for her, Jeanette. Uh, so the Magic Band is $64.99. It's Magic Band Plus. It's not just the plain old dumb Magic Band. Uh, so would you wear all of this? Wear this all the time or just on May the 4th? The hat I would wear all the time, uh, Jennifer. Um, and the Magic Man I would too, to be honest. Now, the next thing up is 
Uh, this is the stainless steel water bottle for May the 4th. I would drink out of this all the time. Uh, it says May the 4th. It has um, Boba Fett there and then R2 and C3PO appearing in. Um, $27.99 for that. I wear my May the 4th shirt last year all the time. See, yeah. 65 bucks. I agree. 65 bucks for a magic man is crazy. I refuse to buy them. I will not buy a magic man. Plus the only time I get them is when I order them with my room rental or room reservation. And you can pay like 20 bucks for them there. Otherwise I'm not buying a magic man. Um, This is the Star Wars May the 4th Be With You t-shirt for adults, $32.99. You got R2 and C3PO coming down a hall, but this is a weird look for C3PO. If it's just me, tell me, but there's a lot more bending in that figure than I remember in any movie. go 32.99 uh i'm in the middle of listing some old electronics you just gave me an idea that now is the perfect time to sell some star wars things there you go sean yeah pivot very weird looks like a crash test dummy it does that's exactly what it looks like in one of those commercials marketing missed a lot of this year's designs. I agree. Uh, looks weird. Yeah. Looks like film in that last. Yeah. A film bot. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I would buy the bottle. Magic man, not for 65. The hat I kind of like, um, but yeah, not there. This is the sweatshirt version, same design, just on a blue sweatshirt. Uh fifty nine ninety nine for the sweatshirt. It's not that cold in May, I hate to tell y'all. Not cold. Um anyone in the market for a Star Wars blaster rifle? Sure. Let me know, Sean. Uh, this is the R2-D2 May the 4th Be With You pin. Limited release. 1999. It is pin on pin design. Uh, so you got the logo there and then the cartoony version of R2. There. 1999 for that one. Just a limited release, not limited edition. It is one and three quarters inches tall and an inch and a half wide. Um yeah seems like there were a lot more pins for may the 4th last year but maybe they're waiting to like i said i got a feeling there's there's a lot more stuff but it'll be released day of it's usually how that works i don't mind the may the 4th but don't like years on things i get that i get that jennifer yeah i'm the same way with like the 2024 stuff course i didn't really like the 2024 design on stuff this year but i don't usually buy that uh the the new year's merch like that he is weird looking Jeanette. It, it's not it, yeah i don't know it's not right it's like it's almost there and you just didn't do it. you just got tired and said okay we're just gonna do this why not just make it r2 really uh and the last thing this is the star wars clogs they call these now by crocs basically they're crocs 64.99 for these and they have gibbets on them uh so one is for the empire it's got star wars logo the empire symbol Darth Vader's head and two stormtroopers having a chat. 
And then the other one is the Rebels with the Rebel Insignia uh, crossed lightsabers and then C-3PO and R2 gibbet. Uh, they are white with black trim. $64.99. Same price as a Magic Band Plus. Uh, to be honest, it all looks cheap and a little tacky. Yes. Yep. Bloom and Cheesa, howdy. Good to see you. Uh, I really like those, but I've never tried to wear a pair of Crocs in the park. You should do that in one of your streams, Jennifer. Just walk around and, and you can give us a review while you're doing your stream. Where the Crocs work well and where they don't. Probably wouldn't do that. Someone call Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve loves the Crocs. I used to have that somewhere. Um, yeah, is this it? No, that's not it. What is that one? Angela's gonna be so mad. Yeah, no, that's not it. Um, Crocs are comfortable. I, I, I wear them sometimes, or I used to. Um, I would I would wear them to, to run out to like get the mail or something, but they never really fit me right. So, yeah. You used to could find them in the bigger sizes, and now you can't. Like this one, the biggest size they have in this one is a men's 13. And I swear I used to find chains and crocs but you can't anymore maybe they gave up on us and they just decided to focus on the i don't know i have narrowed feet so crocs are not my friend says Disneyland fan i thought i knew and liked you so sad. i like i said sean i haven't worn them in years and, and my life has been pretty good i've got some jeff if you're still here I need to know the name of the tennis shoe company that you like so much because I've had new balances for several years and I noticed the other day they're starting to come apart and I'm in the market, but I want to buy shoes that are going to last me a while and that are comfortable for walking. So I, I need to know what brand that is that you like so much. Um, Uh, my life has been so much better since I got got off Crocs. Yeah. Hookah. That's what it... Okay, so that's how you spell it. Thank y'all. Thank you. You like hookah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. I have two Mickey Neon for sale cheap. 150 bucks each. Cool. Cool. Um... Let's see. Y'all get in touch with Precise Signs. If it's the other Mickey ones that you did before, those those looked amazing. Um, Rook's Adrenaline GTS are like walking on clouds. Really? Rook's are my go-to shoes. Really? We got, we got some back and forth on tennis shoes now. I swear by my Asics, I still have a pair that I ran track in high school that are in great shape. I don't wear, I don't wear them, but could. New Balance is good. I've got waterproof pair as daily use. That's what I've been wearing for years. Is New Balance. Wendy B. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we were playing music trivia game. Hey, everybody, don't tag me. Keep his chat clean. Y'all can tag Wendy all you want to. Good to see you, dear. Hope you had fun. Um, the large, oh, the large ones. I may be in touch. Um, on cloud, I heard are amazing as well. Really, your shoe size is going to change, so don't spend too much on shoes while you are dropping weight. That's true. But really, are they going to get shorter because they may get more narrow? 
they they already have gotten a little more narrow. I had to tighten my shoes up because they weren't staying on. Uh, but I haven't noticed them getting shorter. <laughs> uh, runners are so expensive here now. A basic pair OD New Balance is 120 bucks. Really, wow. Uh, I'm a size 14 or E. Brooks has a variety of sizes and support options. Nice. Can I find those online, Nick? Um, we did. I'm sorry, Mr. the recipe. Tell, I'll replay. It was my time to shine. You go, girl. I'll text you too and send it to you. Uh, I swear by hookah and ufus. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, yeah, I'll have to look. Brooks' website has how to measure your feet and everything. Okay, cool. Um, I used to have pretty picky feet. Like, I, I'd have to try them on. Uh, last time I tried on Nikes, they didn't, they, they didn't do well. And Reeboks either. Uh, the New Balance fit me well. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, cool. I'll be in touch with you, Marlon. Um, close enough for me. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, Zappos and other shops have them. Okay. Uh, so hookahs and Ufa, Ufos sound like something Bart Simpson would call, Mo, call Moe's Tavern for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, and hookah need to drop their price here or they'll fall in the Aussie market. People aren't going to spend $200 on a basic pair. Wow lot for shoes um yeah so that's something i'll have to do eventually order some new ones i can't complain the ones i've got i've had i, I thought back to it i think i've been wearing the ones i've got now for about eight years I bought like three pair when I found them because I liked them so much. And I've just been rotating them out, wearing whichever ones I like that day. Don't judge me. Just saying. Um, yeah. Um, that's about all I got, I think. Um, Wendy, I, I, I made nachos today, Wendy. Uh, air fried on myself. They came out really well. Um, Kmart is still around? No, really? Who has a Kmart? All C's have started buying runners from Kmart. Y'all have Kmart still. We don't, we don't, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, they turned out really well. Um, corn tortillas, brush them in olive oil, put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes, 325. Oh, sprinkled salt on them. They, they came out really well. I think I'm going to go in and have them in a little salsa. Um, and Wendy, since you're here, Wendy, I'm sure... Everybody else will be tired of seeing this, but here you go, Wendy. Um, wait, no, that's not my screen. We go back here and made a whole file just for this. Uh, so this is what I used, Wendy, in the casserole. I brought down the stuff to show you, so I'll show you again now. Uh, these are. The zero net carb tortillas, uh, they are keto confirmed, uh, but they're zero net carb mission tortillas. They're real small ones. 
Um, that's what I used. Um, and I cut them. If you can have cinnamon and monk fruit sweetener, you can make them sweet too. See, I was wondering about that because we use we we made some of those like the sopapilla chips like that before, but with sugar and cinnamon. I can't do sugar. Monk fruit sweetener. I'll look into that. Thank you, Wendy. Um, I'll have to get some of those. These are good. So they have these. These are the original. And then they also do these in a sun-dried tomato, a um, chipotle ranch, and I think there's another flavor that they do these in. But I got them for the in the original for the casserole, and then basically I cut them to fit my little casserole dish, um, and then put one in the center to kind of fill the gap. Uh, I browned a whole pack of ground turkey, lean ground turkey. And then I used a jar of Prego, no sugar added, traditional sauce. Um, mixed that together, added in some Italian seasoning, some uh, garlic powder, and some minced onion, dehydrated onion to it. Uh, mix that all up good. And then I, um, I applied the, the cook sauce on top of the tortillas, covered it in some fat-free mozzarella. I added some uh, skim or um, low-fat ricotta and then layered the tortillas again. More of the meat sauce, cheese, ricotta. I put some uh, low-fat pepperonis on it because I've been craving pepperoni and then topped it with cheese and baked it. Uh, I put it in the oven at 350 for about, um, I think I put it in for about 20 minutes. And then um, I put it on bake because I wanted the top to get a little crispy. I put it on bake for, for a few minutes and just kept an eye on it. And um, it turned out really well. I, I um, the kids liked it. The parents tried it while I was streaming last night, and both of them loved it. Um, and I reheated a portion of it for my supper tonight, and it reheats really well. Um, so, yeah, I stuck it. I I stuck another little sliver about that big in the microwave for about two minutes, and it was perfect. It tastes so good. Um. It came out really well. I'm, I'm excited about it because I'll be able to eat off of that for several days, and I love stuff like that. Um, Tony gets no carb lasagna. The the websites I I saw, Wendy approved. It makes me happy. Um, the websites I saw, Wendy called this pizza casserole, but to me, it's more like a lasagna. Uh, they typically didn't put in the ricotta. But I love ricotta, and that's why I added it in on mine. Uh, they were basically just gave you the the simple steps and said, whatever you want to put in it, put in it. As far as toppings, whatever you like. A lot of the websites used, um, instead of the ground turkey that I used, they used like um, Italian sausage, ground up Italian sausage, and used that instead. Uh, I can't have that yet. Uh, or anything spicy, so I did the the ground turkey, and it, it worked great for me, and it tastes amazing. Both of the kids thought it was ground beef; they were shocked that it was that it was ground turkey. Triple A Sparkles, hey Sparks, good to see you, stranger. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you and your bow. Hope you're both doing good. Um, but yeah, it came out good. I. I put ricotta in between and I'll put a little more on top and then the pepperoni and then uh, just a dusting of the, the fat free mozzarella on it. I was worried about the fat free mozzarella uh, because it felt a lot drier than, than regular mozzarella, but it melted up and tasted perfect. So uh, this could be a taco thing too with ground Turkey, taco seasoning, etc. Thanks for the hot tip. Yeah. 
Uh, I may, I've made chili. I made chili a couple of weeks with the ground turkey, and it was amazing. LSU mom Emily, hey Emily, hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I, 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 um, they say I can have like ground beef now in chili and soup, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, we'll do sparks for sure. Um, I, I haven't tried the ground beef yet. Um, to be honest, I've been a little nervous too. Um, but, but I made my chili with the ground Turkey and it was great. And like I said, the kids tried this last night and, and thought it was ground beef. Um, so good night VP. Have a good one, brother. Hope you have a good week, sir. Um, life's been busy, but all is well. Good. Good to hear. Glad to hear it, Emily. Um, always good to see you. Uh, we have brisket burgers here that you would love. I bet I've been trying to, uh, I've, I've been tempted to try turkey burgers. They've got some frozen ones at my grocery store and I've been tempted to try them. Um, of course I can't have the breading, but I could eat, fix one of the patties and put a little cheese and maybe some mustard and that sort of stuff on it and imagine that it's a burger, but, um, yeah, you could do a blend of beef and turkey ground to get started and the iron in the beef is good. Now I hadn't thought about that. I could try that. Um, cause we've got some taco meat from when we, the family orders out tacos. I could put a little bit of that in with my ground beef. That's a good idea. Uh, good night, Robert Dixon. We're about to head out too, but thank you. Good to see you, sir. Hope you have a good week too. Um, you could also make meatballs with ground beef and turkey blend. That we need to suggest that's a good idea. I bought a pack of uh, chicken meatballs. Uh, that sounds weird, but meatballs made with chicken uh, at Costco. Uh, they have like Italian seasoning and all in them. They are amazing. Some of the best meatballs. Um, Evan ate a plate of them. And then I told him later, I was like, those are really good. I'm surprised. they." I said, it, they don't taste like chicken at all. He's like, wait, wait, those were chicken meatballs? I was like, yeah. And um, they were really good. Got them at Costco. He bought chicken. No, I bought meatballs made with chicken. Sean. Uh, I bought a pack of beef and lamb. They were so good. I bet that was good. Um, yeah, mixing it up like that. I hadn't thought about that. I, that would be a good way for me to start getting it back in uh, at Costco on my list. They're really good, Jennifer. Uh, they were. They had two different types. I think one of them was like a apple. And the other one was like Italian and I went with the one was Italian cause that made more sense to me. No, one of them was like a pineapple, pineapple Hawaiian, uh, flavor. And the ones I got were the Italian cause I was planning on using them in like a tomato paste and sauce. Um, they're really good. Highly recommend. I think a pack of 48 of them was 10 or 11 bucks. Or something i can't remember that was a couple weeks ago but yeah they're good there's such a variety of foods available to accommodate almost any type of diet. that's what i'm learning emily it's it's an adventure and uh, i'm having fun with it and i was saying earlier i'm loving to cook I, I don't know what it is i'm i'm loving cooking uh i would too wendy that we do a a um pineapple sauce meat with meatballs uh with regular meatballs that mom does for uh catering and events and that sort of stuff it's it's a, got a sweet taste to it and the pineapple in it pineapple chunks in it it's so good and and it would be great with those uh, but i was wanting more of that italian place taste because i was missing that 
Uh, I'm just counting calories and lost 10 pounds. Good for you, Emily. Way to go. That's awesome. Um, congratulations. I am. I'm loving it. I, I, I was saying earlier, I, I just, I just want to get in the cook kitchen and just cook. I just, that's all I want to do. Um, it's so much fun. Anyway, um, five more pounds. Be it's my goal weight. There you go. You're almost there. Keep it up. Good job. Um, that's awesome. So yeah, that's, um, that's me. Uh, just, uh, try to figure it out as I go. Uh, it's fun. And your creative soul cooking is being creative. It is, it is. And I, uh, it's fun to figure things out. Um, like the nachos, I watched a video on somebody did it. I did a little differently than they did. And I really like the way mine turned out same way with the, the casserole thing. I watched a, a couple of different videos that gave me different ideas and I kind of made my own with that. So anyway, um, I'm just saying it, it's, it's fun for me. I'm enjoying it. I would love to do that, uh, all the time. So, um, yeah, that's about all I got tonight. I think, um, trying to think anything else uh tomorrow night steve will be live at epcot uh thank you debbie i appreciate it um very kind of you um housemate as a nutritionist housemate has a nutritionist so i decided to follow the diet and here i am six kilograms down way to go pen good good did you ever see the John Favreau movie Chef? It's on TV today. It's excellent. I have not seen that. I may add that to the list. I know he did a show. Um, and I watched some of the episodes of his show. Um, I think they were on Disney Plus, maybe. Maybe. Or Hulu. And I think he did the show after that movie, but I never saw the movie. I did watch some of the episodes. Uh, there's Steve's link for tomorrow. So Steve will be live at Epcot tomorrow with Crowder. Uh, didn't even know till my doc weighed me. Congratulations, Pen. That's awesome. Uh, yes, it's the inspiration for the movie was on his show. Yeah. That's what I thought. And they did some pretty cool stuff. Um, I would love to just get in and experiment and do stuff like that. That would just be so, I, anyway. I'm not going to bore y'all with that. Me sitting here daydreaming, but yeah. Um, somebody was talking about opening up a bakery, and I kept thinking how much fun that would be to work in a bakery. Not that I could eat anything, but I would love to get in there and just make stuff for people. It would just be so much fun. Um, anyway, where was I going? Uh, Steve will be live tomorrow night, six o'clock. Uh, I'll probably be here doing the normal, get back to the normal chill tomorrow night. Uh, I've got to finish up my Lego. Um, so we'll work on that. I would like to get that one finished so I can start on the Falcon. I uh, got that one too. Uh, you can do a cooking stream with us, put it on the list. I will, Wendy. They had mentioned that there were several people that had said they would like to watch that. So I, I'm going to start working on seeing how I can figure that out. Um, having the computer in a separate building than the house might make it a little challenging, but I'll see what I, I, I want to see if I can figure that out. Uh, Nick D'Ambrosio says, I grew up in a bakery. I wish my parents owned the gym. <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, thankfully I've never been a big car beater and rarely car crave carbs like pastries, etc. Lucky you, Emily, cause that's used to be what I would crave all the time. Um, Alyssa, Neil, welcome in, Neil. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well this evening. 
Um, so uh, we could all collab on a cookbook. We could book uh, cook builds. Cook builds cookbook. Um. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Steve tomorrow night, six o'clock. We'll be here after that, after he finishes up, uh, chilling for a little while, uh, working on the Lego and, um, yeah. Uh, if you're bored during the day tomorrow, uh, morning, uh, Tanya, that crazy Disney lady, uh, usually goes right live around 1030 and I've been watching her while I work or have her own while I work and. Gives me a nice little distraction or a little bit of happiness during the work day. So if you're able to do that, I, I would say check that out. But uh, I think Pete is going live maybe in about 30 minutes or an hour with his Sunday insomnia stream after me. So be sure to go tell Pete I said, hey, and uh, thank you for everybody for the hippos. And the super chats, uh, Kenneth and Kay will be Jason Thibodeau, Paul Engel, Jennifer Crusoe, T. Marie's place, Tina, a couple of times, I think. Thank you all so much for the blessing. Uh, really appreciate it, as does Huck the Hippo. So, uh, hope y'all have a great night and a good Monday and a good week. Um, this is one of the few streams. I've done entirely by myself. So there's that. Uh, love you all. We'll see you in the chats and hopefully back here tomorrow night. Uh, hope you all have a great evening and a good Monday and a good week. And uh, we'll see you back soon. Thank you for hanging out with me and keeping me company and Give me some laughs and smiles. Uh, love you all. Like riding a bike, Chris. Exactly. Exactly. Like riding a bike. Love you all. Have a good night. And I can throw a smooch as much as I want to tonight because Steve won't complain about it. So I hope you all have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Bye. Toodles.